sure. So here you basically have to make Bilal's purchase journal and you have to make the Bilal's cash book. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but tell me the first transaction. Uh, the April fourth. Bought goods yeah. from Millie. Yeah, for the list, list price, price of three twenty. Yes. So it will and... come in the purchase journal because it is purchased on credit minus twenty percent discount. Two fifty six is the net list price. Yes. April okay. five also will come in the purchase book directly out of column. Yes. Now April six bought stationery. One forty five paying by check. So, so it will come in the, the cash book. Yeah, on the, <laughs> the cash book. Yeah. Now April eight. Cash sales two eighty will be built into Bilal's bank account. Yeah. So tell me why will you write this? In so cash, cash sales, sales money is coming yeah. in or going out? It's coming in. And where it is coming directly inside? Uh, in Bilal's account. So in bank, bank. account. Yes. Okay, fine. Next. Uh, uh, paid one twenty eight cash to Millie cash book. In or out? It's going out. So credit side. What will you write? Millie. <clears throat> Which call? One twenty one two eight one twenty eight cash. Okay. Very well. Next. Uh, bought goods on credit two fifty from Todd who offers four percent cash discount for payments. Cash. Uh, April twelfth transaction is done. April twelfth. Oh no, no, sorry. Uh, cash sales. That's the debit side of the cash book. Hmm. How much? In the cash. Uh, the cash column about one hundred and ten. Then. And then uh, uh, transaction thirteen bought goods on credit two fifty from Todd. Who offers fourteen percent cash discount for payments made within fourteen days? So the he bought goods on credit. That's the first thing. They wouldn't so the be purchase any purchase on credit. Will it come in the cash book or will it come in the purchase journal? Purchase journal. Purchase journal. Very good. So on the April thirteenth, this will come in the purchase journal. What will I write? Todd. What will I write? Todd, and the amount will be two fifty directly in the outer column. Are you there? Go to April seventeenth. Bought the uh, bought office equipment five hundred paying bank transfer. Money coming out. Uh, money is going out. What will I write? Office equipment. Amount which column? Uh, uh, five hundred. Which bank. column? Bank. Then April twenty one. Paid by check for the goods purchased or from Todd on thirtieth April after deducting cash discount. Paid check, so money is going out. Yeah, it's gonna be in the bank. Whom did you pay check to? Todd. Todd. How much you had to pay him? Uh, you had to pay uh, from Todd on thirteenth of April to fifty. Okay, but you had to pay him two fifty. How yeah. much cash did discount you deducted? Uh, from. So check the transaction for thirty. Yeah, four percent. Four percent. So what is the discount? Two fifteen. Two fifteen to four percent. Yeah. Ten. Two fifty into four percent. How much it is coming up to? Uh, ten miss. Ten. So yeah. ten is the discount that you have received. Yeah. So how much will you pay him? Uh, <clears throat> the paid by check for the goods purchased or Todd. So we found the cash discount. Uh, found the discount. Now like. You had to pay him two fifty. You yeah. took ten percent cash discount. So now you yeah, so two forty. Yeah, two fifty minus ten. Okay. 
This is very important. Huh? Be mm -hmm. very careful when you are doing this. This 485 that you have paid is after deducting 3% cash discount. Are you with me? Yes. This 385 that you paid him is 485 is after deducting cash discount. Now understand yes. this. Suppose if you had to pay 100 and you hmm. would be given 3% cash discount. So 3% of 100 is 3. Then yeah. you will pay how much? Uh, about... I need to read... Yeah, 97. Yeah. If you had to pay 100 hmm. and 3% is the cash discount, then yeah. you will pay how much? 97. Yes. 97. Now compare it with our example. I yeah. paid four eighty five. Yes. After deducting the cash discount. Yeah. So my four eighty five resembles the hundred before the cash discount, yes. or does it resemble ninety seven after the cash discount? Okay, so actually it resembles the ninety seven after cash discount. So I would say four eighty five resembles my ninety seven. Yes. So, how much would be the cash discount that I have received? So, 485 plus 3. You will cross no, multiply. Yeah. 485 okay. into 3, cross multiply. 485 okay, so into 3, <coughs> divided into... by 97. Why 97? You will cross multiply this entire column. Okay. Because I have to incorporate cash discount in these mm. columns of discount received, discount allowed. Yeah. It is vital but... to incorporate the discount allowed and discount received cash discount. So I okay. need to know this discount that is received. So what okay. are they saying <clears throat> is that 485 is paid. But yeah. this 485 resembles after deducting cash discount. Yes. So I will always take my base as this. Yes. If I had to pay 100 and I deducted cash discount of 3%, then the amount would become 97. 97 yes. Yes. resembles this 485 that I paid after getting the cash discount. Yes. So what would be the discount? Cross multiply. Yeah. 485 into 3 divided by 97. 15. So the discount would be 15. And this would come in the discount column. Okay. Understood? Yes. Now the next one. Uh, okay. Uh, sold old office equipment for $50 in cash. Cash book, debit side. April 28th. Money coming in or going out? Money coming in because he sold it. In cash? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what will I write over here? Uh, old office equipment. Old office equipment. Well, or you can just write office equipment. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now yes. it's the turn to close all the books. Yeah. Now it is the turn to close all the books. First, I will do the closing of the purchase journal. Yes. Do the total of this. Uh, what was? So this will be total for the month. Yeah, one zero zero six. Okay. Then, now understand very carefully. The very first thing that you close over here 
is the discount allowed and the discount received column. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the very first thing that you close over here is discount allowed and discount received column. There is nothing in discount allowed. There is 25 yeah. in discount received. Are you with me? Yes, miss. Then how do you close the cash book? You will take one one account and close one account. Okay. So what will I do? I will write cash book. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I will write debit total. Mm. I will write credit total. Okay. What is the debit total of the cash book? So in discount allowed, it's zero. No, the debit <clears throat> total of the cash book. The debit total of the cash book. The debit total of the cash book is 160 plus 110 plus 50. 50. Okay. 320. Yes. <clears throat> yes, miss. The credit total of the cash book is 120. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now tell me which amongst this is more. Debit, uh, or credit? debit total. Debit total. So I will write the debit on both the sides. Okay. Now 320 minus 128 gives me how much? 320 minus 128 will give us. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this will be your balance closed down which will mm. come at the side which has the lower figure so the credit yes. side has the lower figure so this will come on the credit side yes miss so over here you will write 192 mm. last date of the month that is April, April 30, 30 and you will write balance closed down Okay. I am highlighting then, it in orange so that you know that you have found this as the balancing figure. Okay. And, and the uh, same balance, thing you will bring yeah. down in the main debit side balance BD. Balance BD. Yeah, 192. 192. Yes. With me? Yes, miss. Okay. And uh, miss, what now about the bank? Let's talk column? about bank. Okay, one nine six zero. Uh, debit the uh total side the debit. What is the total debit? The total. debit. Uh, so one nine six zero plus two eight zero. Hold on, this. Okay, so one zero plus two eight zero. Two two four zero. Yes. Now, what is the credit total of bank? Uh, the credit total. So that means, uh, one forty five plus five hundred. Five hundred forty plus four eighty. So the credit total is thirteen seventy. Yeah, thirteen seventy. Okay. Your debit total is 2240. Your credit total yes. is 1370. Which side total is more? Uh, the debit total. So, the more you will write on both the sides. Yes. 2240. So, 2240 minus 1370. Hmm. 228. 2240 minus. Three seven zero? Eight seventy. Uh yeah. Eight this will come on which side? The side which has the lower total. Yes. So this credit will come side. On credit side. Yeah. Another balance CD. Eight hundred and seventy. Wait, so I I will not write another balance C D on the date? No, it's I'll... the same side, right? It's balance C D. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Then it's done. Now with this, you complete your purchase journal and the cash book.